Hello everybody, today I'm going to install SpyBot Search and Destroy. It's a, a spyware, malware uh, removal tool and it's one of two that I use. Um, I use malware uh, anti, uh, sorry, malware bytes anti uh, malware to uh, do a primary scan and SpyBot to clean up after it. Uh, so let's go get it. And uh, by the way, it's a free tool. You can download it for free. You can update it for free. Uh, and it works great so let's go get it let's go to stuff spybot I'm gonna put the link to the spybot download in the description um, here's the spybot page go down to uh, on the left hand side box home users and download spybot 2.1 free edition click on that and then choose a download site doesn't matter which one and Right there on this link, uh, download SpyBot Search and Destroy. Save the file. And it doesn't take too long. It's not, a, not that big a file. We're into, what, 35 megabytes? All right, there it is. Next, I'm going to hit install. So we hit run. Uh, close your browser out when you're installing spyware and uh, anti malware software, as the browser is usually where this stuff comes from. So, better not to have it running. Okay, I got the user account control asking me, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? So yes. You probably didn't see that on the video, but um, it was there. If it comes up with, for you, just hit yes. Select then the language setup. So we're going to choose English. I'm going to go with mostly all the defaults. Actually, all the defaults. Um, okay, so here we are, the, the donation page. And... If you just choose the first option, install and buy SpyBot for personal use, and I will decide later, then it just continues on. Um, here it says installation and usage mode. It's got a simple mode, uh, and I want to be protected without having to attend to, to it myself. I'm going to choose the second one because I'm going to show you how to use it. Uh, I want more control, more feedback, more responsibility. So that's the choice I made. You can choose the simple mode if you wish as well. Next is the uh, user agreement. Just hit accept and next. Then next on the yeah, folder. Obviously, I've installed it before, so I'm just going to click on yes. Next. Um, if you don't want to create a start menu, just click that box off. Next. And here's the, what it's going to do. Schedules. A regular system scan, regular immunization refreshes, regular updates, uh, integrate with Explorer's autoplay for new devices and integrate with Explorer's contacts menus. Uh, these are all safety device, safety features, so I, I would choose all the defaults, which is all of them checked off. And install. doesn't take too long to install this. It's about, I don't know, a minute at the most. It's quite light. But as I say, I use it as part of a suite of tools that I that I install into the computer to make sure that I'm free of this malicious software. Okay, so now you have the options to start to open the Start Center, start a system scan, and confirm, configure SpyBot Search and Destroy. By default, only the Start Center is checked off, and that's what I'm going to go with because I want to show you how to use it. Okay, so it opens up in a window. I'm going to maximize it. And you got all sorts of uh, options. Number one option with any spyware, antivirus software, or anti-malware software, first thing you need to do is update them. Because even if you download the latest version, the signatures get updated every day, and uh, the downloads don't necessarily get updated every day. So I'm going to choose the update option.
and I'm waiting for this to populate here. Okay, so here, last update. Your computer has no signatures installed yet. So obviously we need to update this. I suggest that every time you go to run one of these programs, you check for an update. They get updated once a day, sometimes even more frequently than that. Let me maximize this window here. Okay, I'll pause this and come back when it's finished, show you the results. All right, the update is complete. Um, I'll show you the details here. I believe there was 42 total. As you can see, it just downloaded all the signatures and current that are current for the program. Uh, let's go back to the preview. That was a total of 42. So now you can close this out. Back to the SpyBot primary screen. And then do a system scan. Again, it'll flag it red because one's never been done. So uh, you need to do a complete system scan. Uh, I'll just use the start, start a scan button here. There are other options, but really the one that counts is the scan option. So you got, you know, usage tracks and start a scan. But let's go with start a scan. And open this fully. Scan has started. So it's going to take a little while. Uh, when this is uh, finished, I'll, uh, sorry, I'll pause this. And when it's finished, I'll uh, show you the results. We just finished our scan, an entire system scan. It took an hour and 39 minutes. Uh, and 21 results were found. So let's see the results of the scan. So click up here. Here's the threat level set. And I appear to have one really nasty one here. The Trojan C-03. And uh, probably 21 other, 20 other minor threats. But this is a biggie right here. So, and that looks like it's in my registry. But regardless, um, as you can see on the left here, they're all checked off by default. So if you want, if there's something in there, look them over. If there's something that you don't want to be uh, deleted, then uncheck it and then click on Fix Selected. And it says Right off the bat, it says bang, bang, bang. Everything, everything has a uh, check mark next to it has been uh, taken out. So at this point, the system's uh, been cleaned by this program, and you have a lot less spyware. I have a lot less spyware in my machine. I, I realized after I ran the system scan, and that's right there, that there is another scan you can do, which is called the file scan. We'll go here next, and I'll show it to you. And what the file scan will do is it will scan every file inside uh, a folder or uh, a single file if you want just to see if there's any spyware in it. I find this a useful feature. I use it for uh, uh, checking the whole drive, uh, all the contents on the drive to make sure that there's nothing sitting around waiting to hit me. Uh, sometimes you download software that has spyware in it but you haven't installed it yet or it's just sitting there dormant. This will actually scan every piece of software on your machine if you set it right. So I'm going to go to Add Folders. Then it gives you an option here. And uh, Computer. And I'm going to choose uh, the C drive because that's my main system drive. I don't need to check the DVD drive or the backup drive here, which is uh, what that is, uh, or my uh, um, USB key or network drive. Those are fine and dandy with me. This is the one that really matters anyways. It's your system drive. Okay. Uh, but it's up to you. You choose what you want to, want to scan and off you go. Um, I'm going to choose my C drive and this will take a very, very long time. The last one took an hour and 39 minutes and that was a system scan. This is a full uh, hard drive scan. It will take much longer than that. Uh, so we're not going to, I'm not going to show it to you. It works basically the same way as the system scan. After it's done, it gives you a summary of the things that it's found. You choose to delete them or, or remove them. Okay? All right. That's it. Thank you for watching.